everyone, it's Sora to the Sky here, or you could just call me P, and this is my first ever video for my K-pop collecting channel. So for my first ever video, I thought a good idea would be to show myself organising my new binder while answering some questions that some of my friends asked me over on my Instagram, which I will link down in the description if you ever want to give that a follow. But I did think this would be a good idea since I did recently just get a new binder. As you can see, it's a lot thinner than like the typical binder. That's because my old one was really big and I do not collect as much anymore. But I've had to downsize and so a smaller binder is just more appropriate. So fortunately the binder has like a little slip case at the top of the binder where you can just put like photos or something in. But I'm not sure if I really want to put like a decal or something because I do like the minimalistic vibe but I don't know if that's like too minimal to just put a decal. However, with all that being said, I'll make sure to link everything that I use for my binder down below in case anyone would just like to have a look and see what else I can get or if you're new to collecting and you happen to stumble across this video and you're just wondering what sort of things to get, everything down below should be useful. So the first question someone asked me is what got you into collecting and this one's like kind of pretty simple but not so simple but I was basically a really big fan of the Produce series and when Eyes One debuted I wanted to make sure that I collected everything as like a form of memorabilia as I knew that they were just going to be that group like they were going to be my alts and so I just wanted to make sure I had everything to support them like I wanted all their versions of the albums and, and just everything I could get my hands on practically and I came to the realisation that I pulled my bias a lot because Chewon was not my first ever bias so when I did ultimately change I noticed I have a lot of her photo cards and then it got me to like searching around the internet seeing if I could like find some of her stuff and I actually did but I was like I said very lucky with her and I ended up just like buying a bunch of photo cards that I would see for sale and it kind of started like that but then when you know the blue mice era happened I wasn't really too sure if I was going to collect them like that but then when I got the albums I saw the photo cards and part of me thought like do they have these like accounts on Instagram and I had a look and I saw that it was a big big thing and so then it really compelled me to make one and then I did and I ended up just getting into trading that way and it also helped me get into like other groups to collect and I ended up collecting like quite a few groups but the one group that I like kind of never let go of was Eyes One. I mean unfortunately now I don't collect their stuff but because it was too overwhelming but they're still my old group and I still will get their albums but they are essentially what got me into like collecting to the point that I am. Someone asked what collection did you spend the most time on and I've already talked about them but that would be Eyes One. So obviously I collected that album since debut so all the way back into 2018 and once it got to like last year 2020 and I started taking them seriously, I started buying extra copies, I started going out my way to buy other like photo cards that I needed and eventually I ended up picking up another member, I ended up picking up Eugen, which ended up leading into picking up OT12 sets and I was like a full fledged Eyes One collector, I made sure to get all their like side merch, all their concert merch, like I put a lot of time into them, they were my number one priority ultimately like that is what my collection was based off my whole collection was just practically eyes one in my old binder i would say 80 percent of it was eyes one and it was still full to the brim like it was full she was thick she she was she was meeting her ends so the next question was um someone asked me what is my favorite one real pc and um i know you said that i dropped um eyes one's like Collect, like collecting them but I decided to keep doing OT12 one real because I actually still have a lot of fun with that and it's not really that overwhelming plus I'm trading for them so I don't have to worry about spending my money that much but I'm going to start in insert a picture of the card that I love I love this card it is my favorite card ever when I saw this card I wanted the card so badly 
I, I just needed that card and I own that card and I also have the fan sign card which is practically the same like these are my favorite cards and the reason that is my favorite is because I just absolutely adore seeing three I just when I saw Cherry One Squeezes oh my god they I went feral. Bloody, I love it. I literally, I literally love this photo card. I will frame it. Okay, so the next question is more of just like a general based K4 question, and that is, what is your favorite B side? And I literally can't pick one because they would all be from the same album, and that is um, just basically all the songs on Taeyeon's um, My Voice album. I will hype up that album till the day I die. I. Well, I went crazy trying to get that album. I finally managed to get the deluxe version, even if I even if it did break my bank. I just love that album so much that I needed a physical copy. The songs on it are so good. I literally do not skip a single song at all. Like it is my favorite album of all time. And I really did wish you one album of the year with that, but we're not going to talk about that. So the next question is literally one of the main questions someone like wants to know when they like see a K-pop collector and that is who do you collect? So I collect Sora from Wua, she is my top priority, she is my ult, I want to collect everything from her, literally anything and every and everything with her face on it, I want it and I actually surprisingly have been doing very well with her. Uh, I also collect J from Enhyzen, but I've also decided to pick up just one 87 set. I did try to like do the full thing, but it was just too much, and they're very overpriced. So I just I needed to like kind of slow down from that and just only collect one set, which has been a lot more easier for me. And then other than them, those two, that is technically it, but I am collecting iPhones 1 real stuff and sometimes I just get PCs if I think they're cute from like groups that I like. It's like Chase from Signature, I buy the albums and I just trade for her cards because it's been expensive and she, she wasn't hot at all. Next question is who is the easiest to collect? Now I'm actually going to like contradict myself a little bit here because I know I just said that and Hyphen is one like of the harder groups to collect because they're so overpriced. But Jay was actually really easy to collect because um, sadly there's a lot of member pricing that goes on within the group and Jay was just priced really, like he was just priced at an affordable price so if I needed to buy his cards I could and he wasn't actually too hard to trade for either which was good. And I would also say hitting me from Ivan is really easy, I managed to get her stuff like really quickly. And the last question I'm going to answer is what got you into K-pop? or what drawn me to K-pop. And my first ever K-pop group was EXO back in 2014. I heard Overdose, I absolutely loved it. But the main thing that got me into it was the dancing since I was a competitive dancer at the time. And it just really piqued my interest and I kind of looked up to K-pop groups in a sense where they were singing and dancing all the time. But that is ultimately what got me into them. So that is all for today's video and I'm just going to do a quick binder flip through for you guys all to see what it looks like. Um, and as you can see there is a lot of eyes one there but it's all going to come together and I might do another binder tour later on once it's like all finished and I've got everything on hand. So that's everybody, thank you for watching, bye!